Hey everyone, today I'm going to see how far I can push these magnets here. I don't have any iron core or anything in this. It's all plastic, uh, two plastic couplers on the outside. We, we're looking at uh, a two inch by half inch by half inch neodymium magnet. There's four of them in there. Okay, and they're just running on these little RC motors. I went ahead and hooked it to the wall, hacked that thing in there so I don't have to use a battery anymore. And let's see how fast we can get this thing going. And all we're going to do is set this thing. We're going two inches apart each time. We're going to start at two inches and see how far we can get down and see how much of a magnetic field that we can get uh, on each one and how much it drops each time. So you, right now we're going to see the uh, RPMs on this and see how fast we can get this thing going so we can judge the speed versus uh, how far we can push this thing. All right, let's get this thing cranked up going. close to 7,000 RPM. Let's go ahead and look at it. We'll start at uh, two inches and crank this thing up and see how much we get. So we got uh, 3.22, turn this thing off and then uh, Let's go ahead and reset. And I basically built this little uh, thing here, these little hammer in uh, things. And all it is is a bolt, two washers, and it's a bunch of wire. I'm using uh, 0.20 uh, or 20 gauge wire on this right now. So basically just trying to see what the field is and how far we could push it, not so much uh, that we're going to get a lot of stuff off of it since we're putting it so far away. But that's kind of the point here. Okay, let's get going on the second one. We're at four inches. Okay, 2.72 on that one. Let's go ahead and get it going at six now. All right, here we go. Ah, let's crank the sucker up again. Okay, well, we're getting lower, but we still got something pushing. So let's go ahead and put it at eight inches now and let's see where we're at. Uh, hopefully, we can still get some feel out of this. All right. And here we go. Connect that up. All right. Fire. All right. Let's see, point oh two three. So we're dropping pretty steadily on this, but uh, let's keep going. Maybe we can get this thing cranked up a little bit more. And we are now going to 10 inches right here. So, all right, hook this up. And let's see what we get here. Make sure we got a good connection. That one's a little off. All right, here we go. It's getting down pretty fast now. It's uh, almost done. Let's see. 
Try a couple more, see what we get to. So, there we go. All right, time for the next one. We are at 12 inches now. Okay, point zero zero four. All right, let's see if we can push 14 inches here and get this thing uh, going pretty good. All right, here we go. Now let's crank it up, man. inches now, I don't expect to get anything here at 16 inches but uh, you know let's give it a shot man so that's probably it it's the 14 at, uh, at low reading so but we'll try it oh here we go Right, guys that's it now next time i'll see if i can't put a uh, metal core in this an iron core uh, i did this so i can just see how far i can get it to push without uh, any iron in it and just the plastic uh, and see how much of a field we can create but it looked like it did pretty good i mean at 14 inches we're still hitting something so maybe if we put a core in it maybe if we wrap wire around the uh, magnets there we can push this thing out just a bit further so maybe next time, but uh, for that for this experiment, this is over for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this.